Hello, it's White Dove East Store again. Right now, we're gonna we are listing this Marshall AVT50, and we're gonna go over the amp. Just gonna check everything that's going on with it. Everything is right. That's wrong with it. And um, nice little amp. I don't know if you know anything about the advanced valve state technology. It basically has a tube um, preamp in it that heats up just like the old tube amps. Uh, sometimes, excuse me. Sometimes they're a little harder to find now. The one we're listing, the ABT50 that we have, uh, we're listing, uh, it actually comes with this cover. So you can see this cover, it's, it looks like it has a little rip right here on the back. And so we're going to go over the entire amp, we're going to plug it up, we're going to play it a little bit. First I want to go over, here's the manuals. A lot of times um, I don't see the manuals in, and just the information coming with the amps. So here's the valve state manual actually that comes with this specific amp the ABT 20, 50, um, 50H this is the ABT 50 and this is also a, another huh, warnings of something that Marshall sent looks like in many different languages either way so this comes with the amp uh, this actually is showing the little tube preamp that's the tube that's in it um, so we're going to Let's just detail, chronicle everything of the amp. I'm going to take this off, this cover off, set it aside. So this is, maybe I should just, this is the cover so you can see it. It's not, not the only rip I see is right there in the top. I mean, it's not the best of shape, but it's not the worst either. It looks like it's been protecting. It's a good, good dust cover to protect the amp. So it has a little zipper pouch on the back to keep the stuff in. So here it is, the ABT50. Um, again, I, I have to apologize to the guys who and, and the ladies might that uh, go to my listings and uh, kind of look up everything that's going on when I get new products because I don't have my halogen light. I like to have a halogen light so that you can see everything that's going on with uh, the musical equipment that I'm selling. So here you have, um, we're just going to go over the front. I don't see any rips. Um, let me flip this over again. I do not see any rip and rips in the grill cloth. Looks like it's pretty seated well all the way around still. Uh, it seems like to me that the amp was taken pretty good care of. Uh, I've played the amp quite a little bit and it's, it's really, really a neat little amp. It's loud. This amp is really loud. I do see one thing right here. It looks like somebody did not know that these caps just pull off and you can tighten the the handle down the handle seems fine now but I, for whatever reason they seem like they wanted to tighten it through that way so they're on really well they're on tight but there's a little hole in that one so i don't see any rips in the toilet as a matter of fact you probably get these covers pretty cheap through marshall it's probably only a couple dollars a piece um so i'm going to turn the amp uh try to kind of reflect the light on it from the outside you uh really there's no rips in the toilets that i can see um I'm going to flip it to the, this is the left side. There's no rips on the Tolex on this side either. Looks like maybe a little bit. Let me see where my finger is. I'm going to pull the camera up. It's not a rip, I don't think. Maybe a little paint mark. Maybe it is a little small gash. I see a little small paint mark right here. If it seems like I'm being anal on the um, um, video, it's because I am. Because I, I want to make sure that we list every single product that we list is something that you know what you're buying before you you uh, buy it little just small little paint spot like a little white thing here right so you're probably not going to see some of this stuff even in real life unless you get really up on it and that's that's my thing is i don't want to have you write me back and say hey there's a little because some people are like that with equipment and i am I, when i have a nice guitar or a nice amp or i pay money for something they listen i want you to tell me everything wrong or right with it before i buy it so that's why we're getting really close and personal with the amp that's why we're going to be a little anal it's going to take a little time to do it um we want you to know what you're buying you're purchasing just as if i'm buying it myself so um i don't see any paint marks even on this side at all if you see it in the video then go with your eyes please don't go with mine uh, when I'm talking, sometimes I'm going over stuff and you'll see it as I'm talking. And I, I'll point it out even while I'm talking about other things. Just so that you can, you can, you know, you really know what you, you're buying. Okay, so that's it. I'm just going to kind of lean this over. The only thing I see wrong with the feet is just where it's been sitting. 
Um, I believe the, the date of this amp, the manufacturer date is 2000. And it's the same thing here. See, just, just where it's been sitting. There's no rips on the bottom that I see. Or even around the edges. It's been taken really well care of. Now, it kind of tells me it hasn't been bumped around, beat around too much. It's been taken uh, care of. Meaning, uh, you know, I'm not for sure, but I don't. I very highly doubt that this was taken on many gigs. Uh, anytime you load a truck or a car, you keep loading an amp. Eventually, it hits the door or something. So, here's the back. Marshall made in England. Um, looking for there's the code. I don't know if that's 2004. Maybe I'm wrong about the date. M2004. I have maybe I have to look up the dating system. I'm not really sure. Um, maybe this is a little newer than I thought so and here's the back and so you can see it doesn't really look like it's been messed with or messed up so we're gonna get into the amp itself and I'm gonna plug it in now I have a, a, a looper line 6 stomp box pedal and what we're gonna do is uh, because this is a um, ABT it has a CD input what we can do, the input and the headphone jack, the CD input, what I'm gonna do is I'll put the looper pedal, I'll loop something with the, the guitar, and then we can go over, we can play clean, and we can also play dirty, so kinda do lead work to sound, the, to hear what this guitar sounds like, um, excuse me, this guitar amp sounds like. So, let me just set that up, just really, really quick. I'm just gonna put this in here. I have it yeah I have it plugged in and what I'm gonna do is leave that for now and we're gonna play through we're gonna play through just the regular input we're gonna put it on clean I have an SG that I'm I'm, I'm kind of gonna mess around with to to do this and so I'll just play something through here clean I'm gonna set this maybe I can set this um, this camera up on the end of this couch so that you can see see what's being played um, then I can grab the I can grab the, the camera a little bit and readjust it so that you can see maybe what I'm specifically messing with and what I'm doing okay so let me turn this on let's go over let's just go over the clean channel real quick uh, what I'll do is I'm going to adjust the knobs and everything so that you can see it and I'll call it out as I adjust it so that you can hear it and it'll pick up it'll pick up on the hopefully this is tuned and let's see there you go. this is the game not really scratchy when you turn it up really loud, that's all the way to 10, it'll start whistling. Um, that's for anything though, I think, when you, any of them. So, so that's that. Let me turn this down a little bit and turn the gain up. So what I'm gonna do is turn, I'm turning the treble down all the way down on the, um, here's the bass. down to the treble and what that tells you the reason why I'm doing that is what that's basically going to tell you is if either one of these are working or they're not working so if you adjust it and you're like there's no difference in tone or bass level then you know it's not working okay so let us Maybe something, something clean.
I'll turn this maybe I'll turn this down just a little bit before I flip it over to the game. Um, one of the things I did notice with this, uh, maybe I'll I'm gonna grab the camera, bring you up a little bit closer again. Um, one of the things I did notice with let me flip this over with the overdrive channel. Turn this up. I noticed that it's gonna squeal if I put that. Is I did notice specifically that when you adjust, it does cry. I don't know if it's. Uh, it's probably not good to got the guitar aimed right at it. So if you hear it whistling, that's what it is. So I noticed that you do have. It's a little scratchy. Now it still works when you when you stop adjusting it, but it's still scratchy. So I want to make sure that you know that. But it's got a really, really nice distortion to it. So I'm going to flip this back over. I'm going to run a little distortion maybe so you can hear it. Um, and then what we're going to do, maybe I can bring it a little closer. Um, so I'm going I'm, I'm to adjust this a little bit. Um, and we're going to play just maybe play something that you can hear really the distortion for a I'm gonna adjust this as I show you. And I'm not sure if that's working or, or let's go to, I don't hear it on the, But maybe that's, I don't know if it's hooked to it. So I wanted to show you that with a reverb. I don't know, if, I'm not really sure how it works on this. So anyway, so let me do this. Let me just plug this in um, and do one more thing. I'm gonna plug it. I'm just gonna run a loop through the stomp box, um, plug it into the CD. So if you have a looper pedal or if you have a, a CD that you wanna play with, you can plug it in here, do leads off this, and it won't affect it. So I'm going to just do that right now. Let me just unplug this just for the time being. I'm going to plug into this stomp box, and I'm going to play through the CD input part. I thought I was a little loud soon. Sorry about that. So, because I would like, you know, just hear the leads on this amp too. Yeah, I was really out of tune. I'm sorry if it's a long video. I know it's probably gonna, you're like, okay, but it, 
brother, this is a little bit too long for me. Um, I really apologize. I just want to show you everything that's, that's going on with the amp. And if you're going to pay money for an amp, you might as well know what's wrong with it before. <laughs> So this is the CD part that I'm playing through now. Um, and let me see. Record something and we're gonna go. So here we go. It's got a little scratch, a little bit scratchy in the game. That might need to be replaced, or just could be dirty. I don't know, but I hope you see enough of it. Played a little bit so that you can see it.